Hey friends, get ready for a journey full of history, enigmas, and lots of adventure. From submerged structures to ancient monuments, these ruins remind us that the past is full of secrets waiting to be discovered. Picture this, a group of researchers searching for sunken ships at the bottom of Lake Michigan. Suddenly, bam, they stumble upon something unexpected. A Stonehenge at the bottom of the lake. This underwater Stonehenge has stones arranged in a circle, and one of them has the fig figure of a mastodon carved into it. It is estimated that this formation could be 10,000 years old, coinciding with the time when humans and mastodons inhabited the region. Now we are going to Japan, where even in the depths of the ocean we find ancient wonders. Near the island of Yonaguni, there are underwater ruins believed to be around 8,000 years old. At first, some thought these structures were natural geological formations, but they are too perfect to be accidental. Stairs, carvings, right angles, everything indicates that they were built by human hands. The underwater ruins of Japan are a reminder that there is still much to be discovered in the depths of the ocean. And speaking of sunken cities, let's move on to Egypt. On the shores of Alexandria, beneath the waves of the Mediterranean Sea, lies a true archaeological treasure, the ruins of the ancient city. Among the remains are artifacts, statues, and even parts of Cleopatra's palace. This site is like a time capsule that allows us to glimpse into the glorious past of Egyptian civilization. We leave the depths of the sea to enter the mountains of Lebanon, where the ruins of Baalbek are located. Here lie the remains of the largest Roman temple ever built. It is an impressive place, with gigantic columns that seem to defy gravity. The most mysterious thing about Baalbek is how the Romans managed to transport and place these huge stones. Some of them weigh hundreds of tons, and it is still not known for sure how they did it. Get ready to travel back in time, friends, because we are going to Turkey, to a place called Gubekli Tepe. These stone circles are over 12,000 years old, built by a hunter-gatherer society. The most surprising thing is that these circles were deliberately buried, for reasons we still don't know. Some believe that Gobekli Tepe could be the site of the Biblical Garden of Eden. Whatever its original purpose, Gobekli Tepe is a reminder that there is still much to discover about our past. Now we go to Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui. This island is famous for its Moai, gigantic statues with human forms that have watched over the island for centuries. These statues are truly impressive. Some are over 10 meters high and weigh several tons. It is believed that the Moai represented important ancestors and that they were part of a complex cult of the dead. Easter Island is a magical place, full of mystery and beauty. We return to England to visit one of the most famous and mysterious monuments in the world, Stonehenge. This circle of giant stones has captivated people's imaginations for centuries. Stonehenge is believed to have been built around 2500 BC, but its original purpose remains a mystery. What we do know is that Stonehenge is aligned with the summer and winter solstices. Walking among these ancient stones is a unique experience, which makes us feel small before the immensity of time and mystery. We are now going to South America to Peru to visit the lost city of the Incas Machu Picchu. This city, built high up on a mountain, is one of the wonders of the ancient world. Machu Picchu was built in the 15th century AD, but was abandoned shortly after the Spanish conquest. The Incas were masters of construction, and the stones of Machu Picchu fit together perfectly, without the need for mortar. Machu Picchu is a magical place that transports us to the glorious past of the Inca Empire. We return to the United States to a place called Elberton in the state of Georgia where a modern monument is located, the Georgia Guidestones. These stones, weighing over 100 tons, were erected in 1980. The stones are inscribed in eight modern languages and four ancient languages. 
with a message addressed to the humanity of the future. The Georgia Guidestones were destroyed in 2022. They were a reminder that the future of humanity is uncertain. We now travel to Africa, to the country of Zimbabwe, whose name comes from some impressive ruins, the Great Zimbabwe Ruins. These ruins, dating back to the 11th century AD, are a testament to the greatness of the ancient Shona Empire. The ruins are built with granite blocks, carefully carved and fitted together without the use of mortar. The most impressive part of the ruins is the Great Wall, a structure over 5 meters high and 250 meters long. We return to Peru, this time to visit the ruins of Chavín de Huantar, an archaeological complex dating back to 900 BC. Chavín de Huantar was an important religious and ceremonial center. The complex consists of temples, plazas and underground galleries, decorated with reliefs and sculptures. One of the most impressive structures is the old temple, which houses the Lanzón Monolithic, a granite sculpture over four meters high. We end our journey in Florida, United States, visiting Coral Castle, built by Edward Leeds Kalnin, a Latvian immigrant. He dedicated over 20 years using only hand tools. The castle is made of huge coral blocks. It is said to be a monument to his lost love. And there you have it, friends. A short tour of some of the most mysterious and fascinating ruins in the world. Each of these ruins has its own story to tell, its own secrets to reveal. I hope you enjoyed this trip to the past as much as I did. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss any of my next videos. Until next time, adventurers!